array dbms past present and near future welcome to the tutorial my name is ramon antonio i'm currently an associate professor at the school of software engineering computer science faculty hse university i'm the best hse teacher for five years in a row I hold scientific degrees in ecological safety and computer science. I am the author of Kronos DB Array DBMS, Kronos Server, Bitfun, Climate Weekends, and a novel R&D Direction. Most of them were presented at VLDB and Sigmod. I carry out research and development in the area of array dbms the array dbms history begins from paradise and titan one of the first databases that specifically focused on array processing to be more precise the story begins from space yes from space a satellite was launched in 1981. As a payload, it carried advanced, very high-resolution radiometer. In 10 days, the radiometer could collect about 65 gigabytes of remote sensing imagery with the resolution of about 1 kilometer per pixel. At the time, this was considered a large data volume. What is more importantly, this data volume, its production speed, and the variety of array scenarios articulated the need for a data management system of a new category. It was quickly realized that many core data types in geo, bioinformatics, ecology, medicine, astronomy, to name a few, are naturally modeled by and the arrays. The next logical steps were general purpose array systems. Rasdaman is one of the earliest array DBMSs which is still active. But then we had a break. R&D in this area had been stalling. Meanwhile, much more remote sensors were launched into orbit. New data generating devices and techniques appeared in physics, medicine, biology, and many other domains. In addition, this storage has become significantly cheaper. Improved remote sensors and HPC simulation, cheap storage, and the resulting big array data avalanche has led to the renaissance of array DBMS R&D. For example, Google Earth Engine was launched on the 30th anniversary of the Landsat program. It's the longest continuous space-based record of Earth's land in existence, running from 1972 on onwards. Amazon started its initiative from claiming to host up to 1 petabyte of Landsat 8 satellite imagery. Now it provides a wide variety of data. The last decade flourished with a significant number of groups carrying out R&D and array management. The landscape depicted here can be complemented by the literature that is surveyed in the tutorial paper. Full stack array DBMSs stand out by providing high level end-to-end -end array management. For example, query languages, execution techniques, and interoperability. Currently, there are only three operational array DBMSs. Array engines provide array processing APIs in diverse languages. For example, JavaScript and Scala are the main languages for Google Earth Engine and GeoTrellis, respectively. Microsoft Planetary Computer was launched this year and is based on open source software. Relational DBMS add-ons provide powerful capabilities on top of relational databases. 
National initiatives include Australian DataCube and European Earth Server. They feature complex analytic pipelines implemented using a broad range of software. Array stores provide sophisticated array storage capabilities for specific workloads, for example, fast updates. We'll cover data models and query languages already DMSs in more detail in the next part of the tutorial. In our tutorial, we will have a special focus on research aspects. Advanced array management approaches are just emerging. For example, novel indexing techniques accelerate array joins and function evaluation. Compass can answer both query types, hyperslabbing and value selection. Bitfun tackles an important class of queries not explicitly considered before in the context of RayDBMS, tunable queries. Only recently, top K queries Similarity array joins with shape array and array view maintenance were first introduced. These novel operations find their applications in many domains, including earth science, astronomy, and HPC simulation. Compression potentials are being explored. Researchers propose novel and efficient compression techniques. Array DBMSs begin to support interactive visualization. Visualization is crucial for data understanding. It is provided by Array DBMSs to avoid costly data movements to external visualization systems. Machine learning is just paving its way to Array DBMSs. Hence, this whole direction has endless R&D opportunities. Novel research and development directions are opened in the area of array DBMS. For example, ChronosDB is the first array DBMS that can simulate the physical world. Our tutorial lasts for 90 minutes and consists of seven main parts. The parts are relatively autonomous, so you can watch them independently. We're finishing the first part. The remaining parts are devoted to array data models and query languages. The third part is devoted to array storage and tiling strategies. Then we cover array operations and joint techniques. The fifth part is devoted to in situ array processing. Then we cover array indexing. Finally, we conclude with array visualization and machine learning. The material is flavored with numerous promising R&D opportunities for future work. With this tutorial, we would like to increase awareness about this novel and exciting R&D direction, as well as to attract new researchers and inspire future work. We will have a live Q&A session at the end of the tutorial. In addition, you can ask questions in WOVA and Zoom during the tutorial. I will also have a separate office hour to communicate. Please check the WOVA app for the time and Zoom link. After the conference, you can always reach out to me via email.